What is going on everybody? It's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So I just wanted to hop on here this afternoon and talk about three stocks that I'm looking to swing trade during this trade war drama, during this volatile market that we've been in. I'm going to talk about these three stocks and my mindset behind this. Why am I looking to swing trade these? What is going into my thinking here? So at the time that I'm recording this video at around 1140 a.m. Eastern Standard, the market here is actually bouncing back again. The S&P 500 is up 15 points right now, up about half a percent. But what I want to point out is that the market is still technically in a downtrend here from the 20-day, one-hour chart that we're seeing. The SMAs, the green one here, which is the 50, and the uh, yellow one here, which is the 180, we're still noticing the bearish cross of the 50 SMA below the 180 SMA. This 50 SMA is still acting as a resistance. Once it's broken out of, that'll be a different story. That could be a potential bullish move. But until then, the market, in terms of the S&P, is still downtrending. And during these past couple of trading days, the overall market has been extremely volatile, right? And these three stocks that I'm going to be talking about, they've been doing fairly well through this time of volatility. They haven't been dropping 20%, 10 15% like some of these other stocks, but they've been actually increasing their price or just or just staying stagnant which is really really good guys so let's take a look at the movement very quickly on the spx we can see how volatile it's been up one day down the next down the next up one day down the next it's just been an absolutely crazy crazy roller coaster ride which in turn drops a lot of these growth stocks, a lot of these tech stocks, a lot of these more volatile stocks, they end up going up 10%, down 10%, which doesn't really open up good opportunities for swing trades. Let me show you guys an example here. You know, Facebook, this stock has gone down literally, you know, 10% or 5, 10% over the past couple of days, right? More like 10% from the 196 high here. And if we're talking about the $200 price point that it hit after earnings, it's down about 10, 12% from that point, right? If we take a look at Apple, you know, this one's gotten clobbered over the past couple of weeks, down nearly 14 Fifteen percent, you know. Google, this one's down ten plus percent over the past couple of weeks. You know, some other growth names like Square, this one's down heavily over the past couple of weeks. So the picture I'm trying to paint here is that growth stocks they end up getting clobbered when the market is selling off aggressively, when there's uncertainty in the market, and certainly when there's a trade war when China and Trump. They're going at it on Twitter, online, the media is covering everything, causing a bunch of uncertainty for people out there. This causes a lot of selling off. And during this time period, again, I've noticed a couple of stocks that don't really sell off. And let's talk about those right now. Now, so the first one I'm looking to potentially add some money into as a swing trade is McDonald's, guys, ticker symbol MCD. And notice on this chart here, just like I said, growth stocks have been getting clobbered, but these stocks, this one in particular, McDonald's, which is not a growth stock by any means, it's more of a value safe play, this one has literally been inching up over these past couple of trading days as this crazy drama with Trump and China, the trade war, tariffs, all this jazz has been unfolding, right? Take a look. Literally over the past 10 days, you know, McDonald's has gone from 130, uh, 196 up to about $200 per share, which is nearly a 3% move. And if we're noticing here on the 184-hour chart, take a look at these resistance levels that we've broken out of in terms of McDonald's. The first one we're noticing here is 185-ish to 190. We broke out of that level. The next one we broke out of 
or we're holding above rather in terms of a support is around $193 per share. We popped above there and we ended up breaking out of the previous resistance, which at, at that at that point was 197, 198, which we're clearly trading above now, looking to hold this level as a new support guy. So as of now, the fact that we broke out of 198 we're holding it as a new support and it's looking like we're trucking up into the 200s i think this can be a potential swing play here as this uptrend continues and as we continue to ride up this 50 simple moving average a red flag on the flip side though would be if McDonald's were to break the 50 SMA support, maybe we start to sell off. At that point, you know, it might not be the best opportunity for a swing trade. But McDonald's looking really good, holding up very well during this whole trade war uh, movie drama, whatever you guys want to call it, we've been in, right? This crazy market that we've been in. So the second one I want to talk about, which is another value play, another safer stock, quote unquote, and another one that is far from a growth stock. And this one is Coca-Cola, ticker symbol K. Oh, take a look at how this stock has been doing over these past couple of days on the 10 day, 30 minute we can see, okay, it did sell off a bit during that initial trade war drama, but during, or really for the past couple of days, four or five trading days, look, it's gone from $47 up to nearly $49, and it's looking to get into the $50 price point again, looking like it's been doing well versus the growth stocks over these past couple of days. Again, we noticed Google, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Square, you know, these visas, right? The, these, these growth stocks of the world, these stocks that grow their revenues much quicker than, let's say, a Coca-Cola, They've been doing poorly over the past couple of days versus Coca-Cola's solid performance here. So we're noticing now, after the sell-off, we broke above the 50 SMA resistance. Now we're playing with the 49 to 49.50 level of resistance again, right? We're holding the 50 SMA as a new support. So now... What I'm looking for is this potential breakout of this resistance for us to get to the next resistance, which in this case is going to be at around $50 flat per share, right? The fact that we're slowly breaking out of here is telling me that Coke wants to fill the gap to the upside and in terms of margins of profit, margin of profit on this particular trade Again, these aren't crazy margins, right? They're not 10, 15% that we can grab on a swing trade, but they're more towards the conservative side. This one's 2%. McDonald's was 3%, right? So keep that in mind. But the way I look at it is, you know, what's better at this point with the market being extremely volatile? Putting money into uh, Apple, for example, to swing trade that has a lot of downwards potential and a lot of volatility in store if the market continues to play out like this, or putting it into Coca-Cola that has a pretty decent margin of profit, but it's less volatile and it's more quote unquote safe during these time periods, right? That's the way I'm looking at it. That's my mindset as of right now. So Coca-Cola Again, 2% margin of profit. It's offering pretty solid play here. And the last one that I do want to talk about was ticker symbol PG, also known as Procter and Gamble, guys. So Procter and Gamble here has been fending pretty well versus this crazy volatile market that we've been in, right? We notice just like Coca-Cola, it did take a, a little bit of a hit here in the initial couple of days of the big sell-off. But even then, guys, you know, same with uh, you know, Coke and McDonald's or really just Coke because McDonald's didn't see the sell-off a couple of days ago. This was literally just a 2% sell-off, right? And we saw some of the other bigger names out there, growth names, they sold off 10%, 5-10% in that same period, right? So this just shows the strength of Procter & Gamble and the strength of Coca-Cola during these time periods where, again, the apples of the world, the fangs, you know, these were selling off 5-10% versus the smaller percentage sell-off 
for these value safe stocks, right? So Procter and Gamble here, you know, we found the bottom at about 104. We've been doing well over the past couple of days, looking to pump up into the 107s as of today, the 15th of May at about 11:49 a.m. when I am recording this video Eastern Standard Time, and we're approaching that level of resistance now. So we notice they reported earnings a couple of weeks ago at about 107. The price was it dropped. We got back to 107, ended up dropping again. Now we're again at 107. So what I'm looking at here is if we break 107, we break that resistance. That's going to be a pretty big breakout move on Procter and Gamble because very clearly based off of this chart. 107 is a resistance level that we've failed to get above time in and time again over the past couple of trading weeks. So ultimately, a break out of that level will just be a bullish breakout, right? So Procter & Gamble looking to get above 107. That would be a nice little entry point in my personal opinion. So that's pretty much it for today's or this video. Rather, there's going to be another upload later today. But the gist of it is these quote unquote safer stocks, right? The Procter and Gambles, um, you know, the Cokes, right? The the Pepsis, right? The uh, what's the other one we talked about in today's video? The McDonald's, right? These stocks do better. They hold up stronger in times of volatility than these growth stocks, meaning they might be better short-term swing opportunities um, just to keep your money in a spot where you could potentially make some gains versus not really making gains or losing gains on these growth stocks. So that's pretty much just the gist of today's video. Another bonus one that's looking pretty solid, I might as well throw it in here for you guys, is Johnson & Johnson. This one's actually been selling off over the past couple of weeks, but this I consider a nice value play as well. Sold off from 142 down to about 136. We're holding this overall upwards trend line. If we see a reversal here, this can be a pretty good opportunity to hop in so that's it for today's video if you enjoyed it feel free to hit that like button it really supports me and supports the channel in general feel free to subscribe hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time that i make a video and drop a comment down below let me know what you guys think about this i would love to know i'll catch you all in the next video later today thanks again for watching it means a lot peace out